Hi all, Stuart uh, from Game Perspective doing an unboxing today. Um, ever since PS4 was announced and I bought my PS4, I was very excited about Disney Infinity and uh, I have today an unboxing of Disney Infinity 2.0. Um, I've also got a power disc pack uh, and also a Rocket Raccoon as well character just so you can get the gist of, of everything that's in there so first of all the box there's the box nice and bright you get three characters Iron Man Thor and Black Widow um, sort of just seeing around on one side of the box shows you all of the stuff that you should expect to find inside uh, this side is just a couple of pictures of the box sets that you can get um, there's one with Star Lord and Gamora uh, and Nova and um, Spider-Man um, and then on the back you get the traditional blurb but this is the important bit just here if I could try and so you can see that is a compatibility table uh, and you'll find it a lot on uh, all of the packaging uh, that comes with the, the Disney Infinity 2.0 uh, you'll find and it will tell you which play sets it plays on, whether or not it's backwards compatible or not, whether it works in the toy box, those kind of those kind of things. Uh, and then at the bottom there's a nice nice little packet, little part there where it shows you all of the available characters. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's get this open. Uh, I've already taken off the, the cellar tape off the top, so I'm hoping this should just slide out quite easily, he says. And there we go. So, taking out the box, you're left with the, well, not polystyrene, plastic stuff. Uh, and there we have the um, Disney Infinity uh, software. Also has the, um, tells you what, what will work backwards and forwards. So it's, you know that that's one of the things that you just get to have a look at. Uh, we've got a nice nice poster. Um, it's also got on the back a. I won't unfold it all, but you can kind of get the the rough idea. It's a list of so you can tick off all of the power discs, all of the character sets, and things like that. Uh, instructions. So this is the Disney Infinity startup guide for for PS4. Pretty pretty self explanatory stuff really. Um, and then this is the the bit the PS the resistance. If I can get it out nice and carefully, I don't really want to break it all so that it can all go back in. This is the the base that it all goes on. I'll um, get that out as well so you can see that. If it wants to come out, there's the base so all the characters and, and everything fits on there. Uh, you get two. Power discs for use uh, in the toy box, I believe. Pop those down. You also get um, what's that? It looks like a, a warranty, uh, and you also get a download code for something. So you go to the Disney.com Infinity website. Put in. I'm going to cover up the code. Cover up the code so no one steals it. You go to the Disney Infinity website there, enter the code and, and you get some thing. Uh, and then onto the play pieces. So if I can get out this one, that is that one. Stark Tower, I believe. Um, and that these go on this top section here. So it just sits on like that and then it does its magic and it all appears in game. Um, I will do some gameplay video as, as well but not not today probably, when I upload it today. Uh, there we go, there's there's the Black Widow character. And one thing that really uh, appealed to me with, with, with all of these is the, the, the amount of detail in the characters. Um, I mean, you know, the, the, the detail is fantastic. Um, yeah, there's there's Thor with Molnir, and uh, yeah, he's he's pretty uh, 
pretty big there. And, and then the final one is uh, normally the guy that's not shy. And there we go, Tony Stark, aka Iron Man. So that's that's what you get inside the starter kit. Now, like I said, I bought um, an extra character, Rocket Raccoon. Now, with these, it says he's part of the Guardians of the Galaxy um, set. But if you flip it around and have a look at the bottom here, it tells you which playsets you can use them with. And this was the main reason of, of getting a second character. So Rocket Raccoon. And then it's got the Avengers playset, which is what comes in the starter kit. Spider-Man one and the Guardians of the Galaxy. And then that last one there is the toy box. All of the characters um, from the first one and Disney 2.0, um, I believe, are compatible in the toy box. So you should be able to go and buy any of the previous characters um, and, and use them in there. Um, go on the Disney website and the Disney Infinity website, and that will actually tell you which ones are usable and which ones aren't. Um, but this one is obviously used in the Avengers playset, so I thought I'd pick him up as well. So I will open that whilst I'm here. Um, pretty easy blister pack kind of opening, really. A bit of plastic insert, and then out he comes. Ah, he also comes with some information. Uh, and he also comes with another one of these these cards. So again, Disney Infinity, load it up. I believe you've got to make an account or anything, but uh, here he is, Rocket Raccoon, um, looking pretty pretty badass with his two guns. Obviously compensating for his small stature. Um, they're good, the characters as well. They've kind of been given... Um, a bit of bit of normality. If I hold those two up next to each other, you can see the the you know the different sizes and, and what have you. Um, oh, this cape is very nice. Uh, and then finally, what I got was um, this just from the local supermarket. And I'm hoping that I can get into this relatively easy. If not, I am going to have to bite it. It's just like the Simpsons blister pack. There we go. So this basically contains two Disney 2.0 power disks, um, and all of the power disks. I mean, on, on the package, it, it you know it says it includes two power disks. If you flip it over, place power disks on your Disney Infinity base to unleash new character abilities, gadgets, costumes, and team attacks. So. On this one, so as you can see, it doesn't actually, there you go. it doesn't actually say anything on the back as to what it is. Um, just that it's 2.0, uh, Disney 2.0. So I've got that there, um, and then uh, that one there, which is the Infinity Gauntlet. So all in all, um, it, it starting off pretty well. Um, I uh, I will delve further into the Disney Infinity world, uh, see what the game's like, put up some videos, um, give you a, a general idea of the gameplay um, and things like that. It can be picked up, I, I've got the PS4 version, but you can pick up um, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360 and the Xbox One versions. Um, I believe there's a Wii version as well. Um, either out or in the makings not entirely sure because it's not my my area um, but if you like Disney you like Marvel it's 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 a no-brainer um, the fact that these little characters are, are, are pretty cool as well is, is an added bonus um, but yeah the, the price price point is anywhere from uh, I think around 50 pounds for the, the previous gen versions uh, anything from from 55 up to uh, I've seen it 63 in some shops. Um, generally, your your local large supermarket um, 
is, is going to be slightly cheaper. That's where I've picked mine up. Um, you can pick up the characters from pretty much everywhere. One of these little characters is around uh, £12 each. You can get the Disney Power Disc packs for uh, £3 roughly each. And then you can get extra play sets uh, for around £30 each. And they unlock a whole new game for you to, to play on the, on the actual console. Um, so pretty much that is a quick guide to Disney Infinity in a nutshell. Um, I'm going to uh, plug it in, see how it goes, see what happens, and, and then uh, hopefully by the end of the week uh, get up some more gameplay videos, gameplay footage uh, of me actually putting the characters on and, and seeing how it all looks on screen. So um, thank you very much and uh, take care.